hello and welcome to the channel today in this video i will show you how to design the simple model using basic tools of part design workbench and sketch workbench okay so first of all here we need to create a new document to do that we select this icon here or select file and now this option here new file and here change to part design workbench and next you create a new body and a new sketch if you like the content I have been producing, please subscribe to the channel and if you want to donate to the channel, you can do so accessing Koi-Fi site. Link to this page can be found on the description of this video. Thank you. For the sketch here, we'll choose, we'll select YZ plane. Okay. And what we'll draw in this sketch here will be a sketch for this face here. This face. And as you can see here, we have to draw these arcs and these lines here. So here we come back to the sketch, okay, and we select the polyline tool in these tools here, sketch uh, geometers. And next here, we draw the sketch in this way. Okay, and now this line here, and now press them three times to get this arc here. And next, three times again, and we get this arc, and now three times again. And now we draw this okay and next here we have to do this flat here so what we do here here we go to sketch geometers and we select this tool here this fillet tool click here and now select these two lines and as you can see now we have this fillet here and next here we'll set the constraints of the sketch here so as you can see here we have this angle here will set this constraint here 150 degrees so we come back and we select this constraint here and now select these two lines and change the angle here to 150 degrees okay and next we'll set the length of this line here so first here we select this vertical distance tool and as you can see here here we have 25 and 15 so for this line here, we'll set a length of 10 millimeters. Okay, and next here, we'll set the range of these arcs. So first here, we'll select this constraint here, and now let's see the range of these arcs here. So for this arc here, we have 20. For this arc here, we have 75. And for this arc here, we'll set 20 for the radius. And here we have 225 for this arc here. So here we select this arc and we set 20 and for this arc here we set 75 and this arc here we constrain to 20 millimeters and this arc we set 225 okay and now we have this and as you can see we have six degrees of freedom so let's come back to this drawing page and here we can see this dimension here and this dimension so the distance between this center point to this end point here is 160 the vertical distance so here we select this constraint here and this point here and now this center point and set 160 okay and now we'll set this horizontal distance okay we have here 160 so we select this horizontal distance tool and now this center point and this point here we set 160 okay and as you can see now we have four degrees of freedom so we can hide these constraints here click in this button here hide list it and what you'll do here sorry go to model double click here so what you'll do here here we select this center point here and now this origin point and we set constant here and as you can see now we have two degrees of freedom so what we'll do here here we'll constrain this point in this line here so select this line and this point and this constraint here and now we have this and now we have one degree of freedom so what we'll do here here we have to set the distance between this point to this end point here so let's come back here and here we can we see this distance here 
we have 10 millimeters here and 94.6 so what you'll do here first select this horizontal distance tool and now these two points here and here we'll set this formula 10 plus 94.6 and enter and we get this dimension here so now we have this sketch full custom in it so we leave this sketch here and press home and next select this pad tool here and first here we check this option smart to plane and we change the length here here I'll set a length of 100 foot okay so change here and click enter and as you can see now we have this and next here we'll create this part here this part so here we have to select this face here and create a new sketch okay and now select this tool here external geometry tool and extra this edge here okay so now we have this edge and next select this slot tool and click here and draw this slot okay and now what we do now we draw a line select this line tool draw a line in these two horizontal lines here okay and this line here must be vertical okay and we set vertical constraint in these two points okay and next here what we do we trim these lines okay and delete this arc here okay so now we have this sketch and we have to constrain these lines here so as you can see here we have to set a horizontal constraint for these lines so select these two lines here and now click in this icon here and okay and now here we'll set the constraint for this sketch here so as you can see here we have 45 for the length of this line here and 35 for the radius of this arc here so come back and select this constraint here and set 35 for this arc here and set the length of this line here to 45 okay and now leave this sketch and select this pad tool press home and and the length of this pad here will set here will set 15 millimeters okay and enter and next here what you'll do next you'll create these parts here so what you do here here we'll select this face and create a new sketch and here what we do here we extract these two edges okay and now switch to section view and select this polyline tool and draw the sketch in this way okay so press them three times to get this arc here and okay and now select the cycle tool and draw this cycle and now we set these two lines tangent okay and now let's constrain this sketch here okay so first here we set constant for these two these two points here click here and next we and now we have four degrees of freedom so you will set the height of the sketch here and the diameter of the cycle and these and the radius of this arc here so first we select this constraint here and for this cycle we'll set a diameter of 15 and 20 for the radius of this arc here so here we set 15 and for this arc here we set 20 okay and now we have two degrees of freedom so here we'll create a point here in this line and next we'll set smart constraint here between these three points so select these three points okay and now select this constraint here and this point and now this point okay so now we have one degree of freedom and next here we'll set the distance here so select the center point sorry okay here as you can see we have a distance of 50 millimeters so we select the center point here and next this endpoint and we set fifth 
okay and now we have this cage full constraint so now hide these constraints here and what we'll do next we'll mirror this sketch here oh, sorry go to model double click here and what you do here here first select this sketch and next this horizontal line and click on this icon this metric tool okay and as you can see now we have this and now clicking this button here so now we can see all constraints here so here we have this mat constraint so here we'll, we'll select this point and this point here and we set vertical constraint okay and we can click here and as you can see here we have to set coin we have to constrain these points here so select these two points first and set constant and these two points here set constant okay and now we have one degree of freedom so what to do select this line and this line here and set equal okay and now leave this sketch select this pet tool here set reverse it and the length of this pad here will be 10 millimeters so click ok and next here we'll create this part here so here we create a new sketch in yz plane okay and here we switch to section view and we here we'll have to extract this edge so select this tool here and extract this edge here and now draw a cycle in this way okay and next leave this sketch and select this pad tool here set smart to plane and now we'll set a length of 106 for this pad here okay and we have this and next create a hole here in this face so select this tool here and here we'll change the diameter of this wall to to 16 so select here and here we'll set to a wall and it's okay so click ok and and okay now here we'll do this fillet here so select this edge here okay select this edge and go to the fillet tool and here we'll change the radius to 20 millimeters okay and now we have this and next here select this face and go to this tool here and here we'll create a hole of a hole with this diameter here 35 so change here to 35 and it's okay click ok and now we'll create these pockets these pockets here okay so what we do here here first we select this face and create a new sketch this face and here we extract this edge okay and next we select this center rectangle tool click in this horizontal line and now in this line here okay and we'll set the size of we'll set this dimension here 110 so what you do here here we select this vertical distance tool and now this line here and we set dimension here okay and next we will leave the sketch and create the pocket change here to true goal and okay now we have this and next here select this face and create a new sketch and here we'll do the same so here we select this tool here and extract this edge here and this edge and next select this centered rectangle tool and draw this rectangle okay and now just select this point and this point here and set vertical constraint and now leave this sketch here and create a pocket we change the tab here to draw goal and OK. And as you can see, we finished the design of this model. So thank you for watching this video.